Welcome to episode 6 of the level 3 Ultimate Iron Man. And now that we have just completed the montage of fishing levels, just going to finish off these feathers here. And hopefully should get the perfect fishing level of 69. So I've been here way longer than I expected to be, um, but it's really nice because now I have 69 fishing. Next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to head over to Barok, I'm going to buy a house, and I'm going to go and complete the Daddy's Home mini quest. Before I go ahead and do the mini quest and buy the house, I'm going to teleport up to Clan Wars and grab some money out of my last man standing coffer, as currently I only have 9.4k on me. I need this money for the mini quest and I'm also going to need it for construction in the future so I think I'm going to take out 200k for now. Uh, if I need any more money I can always come back and grab it. But now I'm going to head over to the sawmill and get the items required for the mini quest. Items obtained, on with the mini quest. Also while making the planks I actually got 24 wood cut in. Here we are at the quest start, I'm just going to quickly talk to the estate agent and buy a house. There's the house ball. I don't need the book. And now we're going to start the Daddy's Home mini quest. And there we go. This should be Daddy's Home completed. Finished up with level 8 construction. And I've also got Marlowe's crate, which includes a whole lot of construction supplies. So I'm going to chop a couple more regular logs and some more oak logs to make some more planks um, because the rewards from this actually give me most of the, the items required for mahogany homes. So I'm going to try and do a couple of mahogany homes tasks as this will give me more XP than just using the planks normally. Um, but I don't actually have enough uh, planks in here to do two tasks so I'm going to chop about uh, five or six more um, and I'm going to chop about three more regular logs, turn them into planks, and then I'm going to go and attempt to do some mahogany homes tasks. So I was just getting some logs for the planks that I wanted to make, and apparently this tree counts as a dying tree in the lumber yard. I'm not sure why, but it completed the task for me. Right, there's all the planks gathered that I wanted to get. Now to open the crate. And here we go, we got all the supplies, and it's lovely because now I get a Falador teleport and five house teleports. Um, I believe this is the only way I can actually obtain these, as I can never make them, and obviously I'm an Iron Man, so I cannot buy them. I need to head over to Falador now, so I'm going to use this Falador tablet, and it'll be the one time use that I get out of it. So that I can go and speak to Amy and get a task for Mahogany Homes. So here we are at Amy for Mahogany Homes, just going to spin through this dialogue and grab a task. Let's get our first contract. Ardy. Pretty easy considering the Ardy cloak. So thankfully because I was given all these planks noted, I can literally just come to this bank and unnote them and then run up and do the contract. And that should be the first Mahogany Homes contract completed. Let's talk to Namela and get my 500 construction XP. I'll take the cup of tea because it gives me all my energy back. Lovely. And there we go, 13 construction off the first task. Really nice. And I have two points. Just run over to Ellie in Ardi and I'm going to grab another contract. Back to Falador. Time to complete our second task. Another 500 XP, get the cup of tea. So I've now... Ooh, 16 construction. I've now run out of normal planks to do the regular tasks. I do need level 20 to do the oak planks. So what I might do is, just so I can use up all of these supplies, I'm probably going to go chop some more regular planks up at the sawmill and do mahogany homes until level 20 and then use up all the oak planks to do the rest of the contracts. Teleported back to Ellie to get another contract. And this one puts me in East Ardy, where I already am. There is task number three completed. And that puts me to level 18 construction. Just grabbing the next task before I go and get my planks. And we get more Ardy. 25 woodcutting. So as I'm running to this task, it's just occurred to me that 
When I was trying to do my crafting before, I mentioned that I needed a task from Mahogany Homes to get through this door without picking the lock, and this is the exact task. See, now that I have the task, the door just opens and I can use the range. Uh, but in the end, I used Edgeville anyway, which was quite convenient, but I wanted to put this clip in just to explain what I meant in a previous episode. And that's that done. This should get me to 20 construction. Let's have the cup of tea. And there we go, 20 construction, I can now use the oak planks. Here we are back at Ellie, I'm actually just going to drop these regular planks now because I kind of want the inventory space. And we're going to grab uh, a novice contract now. More RD, even easier. Contract complete! Oh, 1.2k, really nice. 23 construction. I'm going to attempt one more Mahogany Homes task, uh, but I am going to need to go get some more oak planks because I only had five left. So let's see which one we get. Falador. Right, that's the last of the oak planks used up. I'm just going to finish this contract and that will be the last of Mahogany Homes that I'm doing for the time being. Uh, it's going to give me a whole ton of XP and puts me to 25 construction. I believe I'm almost level 26. I'm now going to go use a different method with my player in house as I want to use up a lot of these items that are in my inventory. I've just run all the way down to my POH, so we're going to go into the house in build mode. We're going to build a kitchen. I'm going to use all my steel bars to make a pump and drain and get 26 construction. Then I'm going back to the living room and I'm going to build two rugs to use up my box of cloth. And finally I'm going to use up my planks by building chairs. Before I begin this method, um, I've quickly run over to Drainer and grabbed some more Chronicle Charges. Um, and I'm going to teleport up to the sawmill and I'm going to get a whole inventory of oak planks and then I'm going to use up these five, ho five house tabs with oak planks and then I will start the new method. While doing this method it's just occurred to me that my next method which uh, will take me on to Entrana I will not be able to bring my RD cape. So for inventory sake purposes I'm going to drop this now and I'll go ahead and get it back later once I finish training construction. While training construction I'm actually going to quickly build the workshop here. This will allow me to make the crafting table 1 which I will then later be able to upgrade to the crafting table 2 which will allow me to make clockwork for birdhouse runs. So we're going to quickly build this one here. That's the wrong table, but that's okay. We're going to quickly build this one here. And then I'm going to quickly run over to Ports of Rim and get the stuff for Molten Glass so that I can upgrade this to the crafting table too. Supplies for Molten Glass obtained. Molten Glass obtained. And there is the crafting table upgraded. I should now be able to have the ability to create clockwork mechanisms. Obviously I need steel bars for this, but I will do this later once I have finished the construction grind. Just grabbing the last of the oak planks for my last oak plank trip, and I'm gonna buy a whole load of steel nails because I'm needing nails for the next method that I'm going to be doing and I don't think 47 mithril nails will cover it. it. Seems like people are buying out the nails in this shop so I'm going to hop around a bit and try and get a couple of hundred steel nails. Here we are buying the last batch of nails. I decided to get 500, it's probably way more than I need. This took me a very long time to get, I didn't realise that the nails were so contested. So, as this method involves going to Entrana, I'm going to have to lose the Bronze Axe because I can't take any weapon in there. I'm not sure if I'm allowed to bring the Chronicle. We shall find out when I do this. Okay, the Chronicle was fine. Once on the island, I need to head up to the north side of the island. 
and up here there should be a couple of plank spawns right here and here so I'm going to pick these up and I'm going to hop worlds a few times until my inventory is full and now that I'm grabbing my last plank I'm going to run back to the boat take the boat back to Port Sarum once back at Port Sarum I will just run back to Remington and start building in my house and here is the first wooden workbench. I'm actually going to rotate this room real quick so that when I walk in I can just straight away sit down without having to run around the table. And that should be the room rotated. So let's just check. Perfect. Now I just repeat the same method and continue to grind out construction. So I wasn't paying attention but I just got 32 construction. So this should mean that I can now remove Oh, I need five oak planks, not four. Oh dear. So, just dropped another whole invent of oak planks. This time, I'm going to head back to my house and hopefully not count like an idiot. Right, so I'm back at my house and now I can do this correctly. Remove this one and build an oak workbench, even though this is kind of pointless because once I've finished up all of these planks and these nails I'm actually going to just build regular larders because I'll have 24 inventory spaces which works out to be 3 larders per trip and the reason I'm not doing larders now is because obviously I have 23 inventory slots which is a little bit more awkward so for the time being until I finish up these nails I'm going to be using this but it'll only be for a little bit longer so this is really inconvenient timing, but I just got an Earth Tiara, um, and one of the Varrock Diary tasks is actually to get uh, to craft some Earth Roots. So I really need to keep hold of this so I can use it for the diary, but I want to have the 24 inventory slots to do construction. Um, so I could theoretically go up to Varrock and get that done, but I want to use the Abyss mini quest so that I can unlock Night Room Crafting without having to actually do it. And that will give me the small pouch, which I can never reobtain. So I was kind of hoping that I could hold off on this before I get the small pouch. So it's kind of inconvenient timing, but I'll figure something out. So after a little bit of thinking, this is what I've decided to do. I'm going to use my minigame teleport and go up to LMS and I'm going to store all my money in there because I don't think I need it anymore. I'm then going to buy my Ardy cloak back with the little bit of money I'll have left over because I have an extra 666 coins which obviously I can't store in the coffers. Um, then I'll use my Ardy cloak to go to the Ardy monastery, I will pay the boat to go to Remington and then I'll inevitably drop the rest of the coins and I will keep the earth tiara in this slot so then I'll still be able to do 24 planks at a time. The only thing that this means is that after I finish construction I will be detouring to do a little bit of room crafting as I want to abuse the ability that I have the the, the small pouch. I'm probably going to do up to about level 20. Um, later on I'll be using the Arceus library to gain room crafting XP with the books but that scales off of level so I'm just going to do this how I'm doing this now. So let's go up to LMS and we will use the coffer, store as much as I can, do that. I'm going to actually drop my saw so that I can buy the cape. Um, I have the tool rack in my house so I don't have to worry about that for now. And then I'm going to monastery teleport. Then I'm going to run up to the boat. And now I'm going to take this boat to Remington with the remaining coins that I have. And I shouldn't need the coins for construction anymore so I'm going to drop this. Um, then I'll go into my house, get a new saw and that will be good for my inventory. Just using up the last of these planks. Now that I've used all those nails, I'm going to run over, grab some more planks, I will drop the Ardy Cloak, and from here on I'm going to grind oak larders until 46 construction. Just realised that I said oak larders in the previous clip, I meant regular larders.
So here we are using up the last of the steel nails that I had, uh, nowhere near enough for what I originally planned to do, but I am going to change up the methods in a bit because this is becoming very slow XP rate. As for this inventory, I'm going to save the last 8 planks as I'm going to go and get some soft clay so that I can build uh, the wooden shelves free in my house. This will allow me to use a cup of tea later for a plus 2 boost which will be used in building one of the chests in the costume room because I only plan to get 46 construction um, rather than the 48 which is for the treasure chest. To get the soft clay, I'm going to quickly grab a pickaxe from this house here. I'm going to mine one iron ore, which I'm going to sell for the money to buy a bucket. And then I'm going to mine six clay to turn into soft clay to make the shelves. Thank you very much. And now to make the soft clay. Now that that's done, I can go and make the shelves. Here we are in the house, build shelf space, and I should now be able to build wooden shelves free. Which also gives me 38 construction. Now that I'm done with this, I'm going to drop the rest of these steel nails because I don't need them anymore. But I'm going to head over and I'm going to get 20 fire making, which will give me the requirement to do the enlightened journey quest. And that is 20 fire making, that is the last requirement I needed for Enlightened Journey. Now I'm going to go and try and start the quest and get to the point where I need to grow a willow tree. So I've just done a little bit of research and before I can get Augustus sapling I need three papyrus, a candle, a ball of wool and a sack of potatoes. So I'm going to go over to Type 1 I General Store and buy the papyrus. Then I'm going to get the candle from Capabi, uh, I will make the ball of wool and I will buy sacks from the farming store and I can fill them up on Enchana. I didn't realise it but they actually sell candles in this shop as well so I won't need to go to Capabi. Time to start the quest. Right so this is the part of the quest where he gives me the sapling and I'm going to go plant this in the tree patch and I'm going to head to bed for the night and tomorrow when I get up the tree should be grown. So here we are at the farming patch, just going to plant the tree now. Just going to pay the farmer. And here's where we do a clever camera trick. Because this tree is going to go grow in 3, 2, 1, now. Obviously I'm just joking. I just cut the clip and then decided to start re-recording on the other end. Nonetheless, let's check the health of the tree and get my first 1.4k farming experience from this. There's 38 farming. And now I need to leave this for half an hour so that I can grow some willow branches. So in the meantime, I'm gonna go do the abyss, in, enter the abyss mini quest and start some room crafting. Just going to do a quick run into the wilderness to start this mini quest. And here we are starting the mini quest. For this mini quest I need to teleport to three different essence mines. So here's one, two, and three. Time to finish this mini quest and level up the last skill that is level one. Mini quest complete. And I'm room crafting, which now allows me to craft earth runes. So my early method of training room crafting is pretty simple. I mine rune essence from the teleportation in Baroque, then I run up to the earth altar, I craft the runes into earth runes, and then I run back. I'm just going to do this to about level 20 rune crafting, and then I'll stop. This allows me to get more XP from books later when I do Arceus.
and there is 20 runecrafting. Back to completing Enlightened Journey. Here we are grabbing the last branch that I need for Enlightened Journey. And there we have it, we've made it to Tavoli, time to finish the quest. Enlightened Journey completed. 39 farming, 32 wood cutting, 25 fire making. Now that I've completed that quest, I can use the balloon transport system. This method will be used for training construction as it allows me access to the sawmill with relative ease. I'm planning to move my house to Tavoli and then use the balloon transport system to go backwards and forwards from Tavoli and the sawmill. Before doing this method, I need to unlock the ability to travel to the sawmill. To do this, I need to go back to August and give him 10 willow logs and complete the method again. For this, I'm going to need 10 willow logs. 33 wood cutting. So, it appears as if I've made a small error. I kind of didn't realise I needed 40 fire making to travel to the sawmill. So, I guess I'm going to quickly get 40 fire making. log and there is 40 fire making time to go and do what I messed up before so here we are back where I was before I've got my 10 willow logs which will allow me to unlock the balloon transport to the sawmill I need to drop this axe so that I can go to Entrana I've currently chopped another 100 willow logs which I've stashed in here and I've got one log to take me to Tavoli and I'm going to fill this up to 100 with regular logs when I get to the sawmill as there are a whole load of regular trees around the log storage there. And there we go, 2000 extra fire making experience and I've unlocked the sawmill route. Buy in another steel axe. Now I'm just going to teleport back to Faro Enclave and grab a whole load of money. While preparing for this, I actually got 41 and 42 wood cone. Um, technically at 41 I unlock a rune axe, but unless I want to get, I think it's 86 smithing, I will not be able to use a rune axe until at least level 60 when I can actually enter the woodcutting guild and buy one. So unfortunately this basically means that until level 60 I'm pretty much relying on either a steel axe or whatever I can currently smith. And that should be 100 logs in the crate. The last thing I need to do is relocate my house to Tavoli and now I can go back to the construction grind. And here we are for the last larder to be made, and there is 46 construction. I can now build the oak armor case, which is the main thing I wanted from this. Um, I'm also going to use a cover tea to boost two levels so that I can build the treasure chest as well. So I'm quickly teleporting back to Clan Wars to go and get some more money because I need 50k to make the costume room and then I'm going to go get some more oak logs, uh, turn into oak planks so that I can build all the items that I want to build inside the costume room. There we go, so I just got a full invent of oak planks because I wasn't sure how many I needed and I thought I might as well make the most of the trip. And here we are, let's build the costume room. And now I want to build, uh, is it fancy dress? Yep, we'll build this one here. 
toy box I'm not too bothered about. The magic wardrobe is the one I just unlocked. So that's... Wait, was it this one? Oh, no, maybe, okay. Oh, the, the armor case must be the one I just unlocked then. There we go, 46 for that one. And the treasure chest is the one I think I need the boost for, uh, level 48. We're going to see if I can build a toy box. I'm not too bothered about this though, but that's level 50. And the cape rack is level 54. Not bothered about those two. Going to quickly get a cup of tea and build the treasure chest. So it's just occurred to me that I don't actually have any way to cook the tea as I never built an oven or a stove. So I'm going to go and get eight steel bars and make a oven in my house. And here we are with the steel bars. Going to build the fancy range and make the cup of tea. Here we are with the cup of tea. This should give me a plus two. 48 construction. Now I can build this. Treasure chest completed. And that's going to conclude this episode. In the next episode, I'm going to be working on some serious farming gains. If you've liked the video, please be sure to leave it a like and subscribe if you want to see more. I'll see you all next time. Thank you.